Hey, what's up? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Simply Pod Logical, a Simply Nail Logical podcast. Hello. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Thank you, Shopify. Thank you, sponsor. More on that later. Thank you. Christine, today we yes. are playing Guess the Recipe. Okay. Uh oh, this will be hard for me. Bum, bum, ba, da. I don't cook or. Well, <laughs> that's not true. I've been baking a lot with Simply Bake Logical. Cooking or baking? Same thing? No, I'm told they're not. <laughs> okay, so guess the recipe is, uh, I first saw it on the Jenna and Julian podcast. I think they came up with it. Did they? I think so. Damn. Where just, you you uh, <laughs> you have a list of uh, ingredients. Yeah. You tell the other person, and just based on the ingredients, they have to guess what the, rest of, what the dish is or what okay. the dessert is. Do you think you'll be good at this because you have a broader knowledge of making shit? I think I'd be good with a normal uh, player across from me. What do you mean normal? What are you saying? I'm well, abnormal? I, I have a feeling you will just have picked very strange examples of things. Why do you say that? Because <laughs> you don't really bake or cook or anything. Okay. I did... Uh, sorry, that was a little mean. I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun. It's true, though. <laughs> I did think about doing a variation okay. on the game, but then I ultimately thought it didn't really make sense. But let me just explain it anyway. Sure, sure. You know how when you're on like a food blog and it, there's like a wall of text before they tell you a how novel. to make you know something? Yeah. yeah. I thought maybe we could just do like guess the recipe based on like a paragraph from a food blog that's so funny, if a lady's though. like uh i found my boyfriend was uh sleeping with his secretary so i went to uh, the park and screamed into a paper bag and then i went home and i made x apple pie and i'd be like yes no it was cheaters blueberry scone cheaters apple pie or something. <laughs> yeah 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 but uh, so i like i looked up a bunch of these and you could never tell <laughs> Like either you, either you have yeah, no yeah. idea or they say like, I remember making blueberry pie with so my it's, grandmother it's a as a kid. So, you'd so have it's to omit either that. impossible or just way too obvious. But you could just omit that like two words that it's a dead giveaway and you could keep the rest and it could still be funny. Well, that's not what we're doing. Okay. We're just going to do it based on the ingredients. I'm just waiting for someone in the preamble of a recipe to in during the novel phase where they confess to a crime, like they confess to a murder and then... To hope no this, one notices. This, this was a tweet that went yeah, viral. Yeah, I saw Did it. Because okay. no one reads it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. Someone yeah. with some time on their hands should try this, I think. Make a food blog. Become a famous food blogger. And just like very casually confess to a crime in the middle of that long introductory yeah. section and see how long you get away with that before the comments are like, if you're getting comments at all, would people ever sort of realize you're doing that? It's a test to see who's really reading. You yeah. Know? It's usually not most people. It's definitely not me. It's always skip skip to recipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, you just, go first. So okay. So how we're actually playing this is just list of ingredients. Other person has to guess the recipe. Here, I'll do my first one just as an example. Oh God. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get it. As okay? an example. So, well, to, it's not uh, real. It's fake. Here's my ingredients: two okay. two cans of garbanzo beans. Thomas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Okay, we're done here. I win. Should I finish? Because this is my hummus recipe. People might want to know. Okay, it. all right. Wait, are you saying how much? I can say how much. Because they might care about that if they care to make your hummus. So my, I don't, I make hummus without a recipe. Mm -hmm. But I know the, I know it. It's in my head. Mm -hmm. I've written it down for people before. Okay. It's two cans of chickpeas, two uh, three hundred ninety-eight milliliter cans of chickpeas. You soak them, remove the skins. Uh, seven garlic cloves. You uh, seven? mince the garlic into a third of a cup of lemon juice. Uh, quarter teaspoon cumin, two teaspoons kosher salt. You blend that together for a while. Then you add two tablespoons olive oil, two thirds of a cup of tahini, no less than that, if anything, a little bit more. And three ice cubes to make it a little fluffy. Ice cubes. That's but Ben's no that, recipe hummus doesn't recipe. Doesn't that water it down? You do want to water it down. Oh. You, you could water it down with water. Maximum flavor of hummus. Maximum flavor. Yeah. You can have too much flavor. I already put quite a bit of salt in there. Okay. I don't know these things. Okay, so I guessed it. I okay, win. Christine's one for one. Okay, <laughs> give, give me your next one then. <laughs> no, 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 your turn. You want me? Okay. Yeah. But this is the real one though. That was real. Okay. <laughs> what if they're like weird? <laughs> I knew this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what if they? <laughs> A green drink or something. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, I'm just going in the order that I wrote them down. It's a which, garbage bowl. No. Chicken, <laughs> lettuce. <laughs> but th- those are that's not a real recipe. The that's point of a garbage recipe. bowl is there is no recipe. It's just fucking it's, oh, random I shit. I have three dinners of leftovers. It's randomized Let me shit. put that in okay, a bowl. Okay, this is a recipe that it was on the internet. Fruit Loops. One egg. One egg. Half a cup of cola. What do you mean cola? Like Coke. Like Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Or any RC cola? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> no name cola. <laughs> yeah. Or do I need to say the amounts or it'll just skip it? I'll just uh, say you this. You don't stuff. have to. Okay. So an <laughs> egg, Coca Cola, <laughs> crushed saltines. Saltines. What those are crackers, right? Yeah. We don't I don't really have you ever had a saltine? I've had a cracker. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> what is this a trick question or something? Have <laughs> you ever know. had saltines? I think they're they not just really use, a thing in Canada, well, this, right? It's just, we just use different language. I think a saltine is a cracker, but in Canada we say cracker. It's a specific type of cracker, though. No, is it? I think it's just a salty cracker. Let's let's just talk about okay. this for thirty minutes. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I, I think they're Egg, the same thing. Coca Cola saltines. French salad dressing. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, it's disgusting. <laughs> Grated Parmesan cheese, salt, ground beef. Oh. And some kind of a bun. Oh, this is some sort of like sloppy Joe style <laughs> disgusting sandwich, right? Close. Yeah, am I close? I, I thought you were going Frito pie territory. Have you ever, do you know what that is? No. It's where you basically <laughs> dump like chili and like a... Like a garbage chili? Frito chips and cheese into a bowl and you call it pie, but like it's just like... Like a compost like... cookie, but a pie? Sure. But this is egg. The egg is kind of tripping egg, me out. Yeah. Egg is... and Coke. The Coca-Cola is not tripping you out? No, because you can use no? Coke to cook uh, meat, kind of. Really? It, it basically gives like a, a sugary... Uh... Like how you use beer? You can basically make it into a syrup sauce. Usually you'd also have it with like in a well, barbecue Coke sauce or something. Coke is just sugar. Maybe. So is that... It's not just sugar, but yeah, that's a lot of sugar. Okay. <laughs> okay. And flavoring, select flavorings. Okay. Yeah, natural, natural flavors. So I'll just tell you, it's cola burgers. They're hamburgers. Oh, it's a burger. It's a hamburger with the patty. You make the There's, patty is with it, Okay, the egg. Is the egg just in the meat or like they're frying an egg and I mean, putting it on the burger? I mean, I didn't copy the instructions part. I just got rid of the ingredients part. Okay, I that don't makes know. sense. I and is the Coke, or I guess you don't do you know the recipe? It's in the burger from my understanding, yeah. So when you're mashing your ground meat together. Yeah, it's half a cup of Coke. You're putting Coke yeah. into that. Yeah, that's the liquid, I guess. <laughs> I should have been able to get that. Burger was, was yeah. Did you say ground beef? Yep. Okay. Okay, your turn. All right. I, <laughs> I would I never don't eat get a this. Point this there. does not sound good. I do not want it. Where did you find that? I don't know. I just Googled weird recipes. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Okay, so this is what we have okay, in store. Okay, they're not all like that. Some of them aren't like that. Okay. Okay, right. I'm going to do an easy one. Okay. All right, you ready? Do you want amounts or just ingredients? Well, just give me ingredients. Just and I'll ingredients. ask for amounts if I need. Okay, flour. Cookies. <laughs> okay, just let me know okay, what okay. you don't. Okay. Flour. Yeah. Baking powder. Baking soda. No, baking powder. Baking powder. Magic powder. I still white, don't know the White sugar. Uh, quarter teaspoon salt. Uh, a cup of milk, uh, butter, and one egg. Pancakes. Yeah. Good job. Yay! I thought it would be so simple you wouldn't get it, but like this is like something you can Pancakes. make. Pancakes. Yeah. I can make it, but you can also just buy pre-made flour pancake mix. You don't need to mix anything. Yeah, but you don't need to do that. <laughs> okay. Well, because like what what is in the pre-pancake mix? All those things you just said. Except is it just for, like, the flour egg? and like the baking powder? Yeah. Because you have to add the milk. You have to add... uh... Well, I think sometimes it's just like powdered milk or whatever so that you can just add water if that's all you have and then it becomes that. I mean, it's usually not as good. I don't know if you're a pancake connoisseur, but... I thought you might need the maple syrup to make the connection, but... No. No. Okay. Are you a blueberry pancake or chocolate chip pancake? No, I hate blueberries. That's wrong. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a maple syrup pancake person. It's yeah. the law. We live in Canada. It's the law. It's the law here. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm going to hold you in contempt. Okay. I have one. This one's also weird. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay. Black beans. Uh-huh. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. <laughs> uh, oh, I think I might know it. Canola oil. Mm-hmm. 
eggs, uh-huh. brown sugar, mm, cocoa, moist. vanilla extract, baking powder, and oh, salt. Oh, just cocoa or like Dutch cocoa? Baking cocoa. Baking cocoa. All right. I'm pretty sure these are like black bean brownies. Yeah. It is. Exactly. Okay, got them. Would you eat Give them? Give me one point. No. Why? Well, I like brownies, but I don't. Why? You would... like black beans too. Put them together. I don't see why not. <laughs> you think you, like I like X, I like Y, so X. X plus X Y, plus y equals, equals good. Z. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think the flavor profile of black. Here's the thing. If it's one yeah. of those things where like, hey, sneak some black beans in there, you can't even taste that it's like there. Like when you put spinach in something and you don't really notice. Yeah. But yeah. this you would notice. I think you would notice this, right? Well, but isn't there like black bean ice cream and other kind of black bean fried treats that you don't notice that much? It's just like very subtle. I'm not aware. I do not recall. Okay. I you, feel like there is. black bean ice cream? I've heard it. I feel like it's a thing. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe sure don't dress you're me. you're making that up. I don't think I'm making it up. Am I making that up? Comments, fact check me. <laughs> I mean, someone somewhere has done. It's yeah. kind of like that rule for porn like if you can think about it exists it's the same thing how are you jumping to there (laughs) this rule there's a there's a name for this if you have if you can think of a food dish someone's probably tried making it okay probably a very sad person okay in their underwear in their bachelor apartment (laughs) that they just had a pint of vanilla ice cream and a can of black beans and that's the only thing in their life holding things together and they just they mixed it together out of like a numbness. They can't really feel anything at all anymore, but they just mix it together to see if it makes them feel anything. Are you okay? No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, Give me oh your yeah, next I, one. I got it. I got all one. Right, all right. Okay. A tablespoon of olive oil. Uh, one a white onion diced. Uh, a few zucchinis chopped up okay. to little pieces. Sounds like a little saute. Okay. Got a garlic clove. Saute. A, a chicken bouillon cube. The fuck? Oh, you mean like the... Little chicken stock Like thingy. the... Okay. Yeah. Um, where am I? Uh, uh, grated Parmesan cheese. Mm-hmm. Lemon zest. Mm-hmm. Optional, you could add some crushed red pepper flakes. Uh, and one pound of dry rigatoni pasta. It's just pasta with... A flavor? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's a pasta dish. There right? is pasta in it. It is a pasta dish. Pasta. It's not shrimp scampolini. It's by, it's a recipe by a famous lady who we talk about sometimes. Claire Saffitz. No. Oh. It's not cookies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she doesn't what make other real famous food. La- Sally's baking addiction. Uh, not someone you will think of as a uh, cook or a chef. What? Yeah. A YouTuber? A famous lady. A famous lady. Yeah. I don't know. Martha Stewart? <laughs> Who's a famous Starts lady? Starts with an M. Not Martha Stewart? Not Martha Stewart. Not a la- not a baking lady. She used to run a blog before she met some guy that ruined her life. Megan Markle. Megan Markle? <laughs> Wait, what? Back she... in the day, she had a blog where she, she would did? like uh, post recipes that. and stuff. So this is uh, Megan Markle's... Filthy, sexy zucchini bolognese. Did she name it that? Or did the media name it that? She described it as filthy sexy. Because it's her just blog? so creamy. Wait, I need to fact check this. You actually went to her blog that still exists? Well, she gave an interview a couple years later to okay. some food magazine where she just described how if you cook down the onions and zucchini for like four hours, it eventually becomes like super creamy, almost as like it's like a cream sauce for the pasta. Okay. Instead of a bolognese, which is usually like meat, a meaty sauce. Huh. Sounds good. You should make it. Maybe I will. Actually, <laughs> For, every wait, re- four hours. Every recipe it's I'm saying long. today, comment down below which one we should we make. should make. Yeah. Yeah. I that mean, four hours is like too long for me personally to like make dinner. You know. It is a long time. It's just a commitment. Just to simmer down onions into mush. Yeah. Just put them in the blender. <laughs> Speaking of mush, have you? Uh, have you heard any excerpts from Prince Harry's book? Um, I mean, like, I, I don't know. I don't think it's something I really... You don't know? ...care to read that much. But uh, okay. 
I mean, I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean like I'm the, I'm not that invested. I think it's interesting. I did watch the documentary with you. Why are you being so guarded about this? You can just say no oh, or yes. No. <laughs> I've wrapped up for right an explanation. You worried about first. offending somebody no, here? I, occasionally, I'll see something on like Twitter or Snapchat because like the Daily Mail has overtaken the Snapchat ads apparently, and it's like the negative spin on like how his book oh. is doing a disservice to the family, and like uh. I see it. I see a lot of from that angle. Which is like not actually the opinion I would say I share, but I'll see that kind of discourse and I'll be like, interesting. No, 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 fuck that. But it's funny because he'll just like has these random like, uh, he got frostbite on his penis and he's talking about this in the book and he goes, I went to use this moisturizer and it was the same moisturizer my mom used to use. So he's like, I'm putting moisturizer on my penis and I'm thinking about my mom. That's pretty weird. I did not see that excerpt. Nope. Okay. Uh, do you have another recipe? <laughs> On that note, um, yes, this is a simple one. Yeah. You better get it or else you're out. It's uh, one cup of rolled oats, four cups okay. of ice cold water. Four cups of water. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Uh do you have the ingredients? Country of origin. Does not re- matter. It's Hips, not required. Hipster. What? How uh, environmentally friendly is this? I don't know. Depends how you process it, this, I guess. Okay. This is how you make oat milk, I yeah. guess? Okay. <laughs> Wait, how do you make oat milk? I don't know. I mean, I buy <laughs> it. the recipe. <laughs> I but usually buy it in a carton. That's how I make it. <laughs> how do you make it? You go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> no, like... They make it into a milk, I guess, by muddling down the oats with water. I think they use some kind of a, like a cheesecloth style bag that like lets it like leak out of it. I remember I bought some of those when I was making tea in the bathtub. Oh, that's right. That yeah. was like your or giant That's how you make bag. almond milk at least because I bought them. They were called like almond milk bags, <laughs> like bags that you would but normally use for almond to milk, soak almonds. Like we have a Vitamix, some fancy blender. Sure. I think you can literally just put almonds and water into the Vitamix, yeah. blend it, and it turns into almond milk. Yeah, but not everyone has a fancy blender. But so I'm just I saying, think... I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can just put water and oats into a blender and get oat milk, right? Is there a different way? You have to like soak them over time and like squeeze the liquid out of them? Maybe. I don't know. We should make our own. We go through so much but of it. But why? Uh, in our fridge. It probably takes so much longer to make like one cup of oat milk. <laughs> I, I would guess we have like... Eight cartons of milk in You're our fridge. Lying. And we don't I have swear. Eight cartons let's th- I'm gonna post a picture no, of our fridge in here. No, we do not have eight cartons. Because I got some regular milk. Okay, explain. You've got r- <laughs> uns- unflavored oat milk, Correct. chocolate oat milk, Correct. and almond milk. Correct. That's for different purposes. That's four different types of a beverage in a carton, which is related to milk. And the, these two liter cartons, usually we have a full one and one that we're it's going like almost through. empty. So there's like eight cartons. Well, okay, well, there's never always eight. Like, you know, sometimes there's just one. But there's at least four. There's never one. There's at least we're four. We're never going to get to emergency <laughs> levels. <laughs> because, listen, and don't don't blame this all on me now, boy. There's no blame. <laughs> hey, I'm just... buddy boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Listen up here. Ben drinks the 1% milk for his lattes. I do. And Ben uses, but I make it, almond milk well, in his it. oats. I use almond milk for your oats. your oats, yeah. so he owns two of the cartons out of the four I, possibilities. I'm not saying it's a Wait, bad thing. Wait, I'm not thing. done. And then the other two is regular oat milk is mine that I put in oats or my tea, and I use that uh-huh. uh, most of the time, or chocolate oat milk, which I use at nighttime. So we're pretty <laughs> even there night. split on the types of cartons. Yeah, yeah. It's even split here. I'm just saying. Don't ha- blame it all on I'm me. Not blame, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm just saying half our fridge is full of milk. Yeah. What's the problem, boy? <laughs> You know when they do We're like celebrity, the life, celebrity. The life of milk. <laughs> when they do celebrity house tours, they will like show their staged fridge. You can always tell if someone like does not make food or not based on that, right? Yeah. Like if a fridge is just like perfectly sparkling manicured, water. like here's seventeen different beverages perfectly lined up. It's like, oh, this is a drink fridge. Well, they just have chefs. The chef brings the food. Should we do that? No. <laughs> that sounds pretty nice. Can anyone do that? Can I just if be you like... Can pay, yeah, if you can pay for it and you have a kitchen, I guess. Do you think that's way more expensive than just going out for a fancy dinner? Probably, Probably, right? because you're paying for that person's time to like fucking come over to your house and shit. Have to deal with you. 
I would imagine it would be more expensive. But like, instead of going like super fancy, like finding some executive chef, what if I just went to like a Subway or a Burger King? And <laughs> and I was like, said, I'll pay you double. Hey, hey, you. Uh, what, no, do you what do you make like $16 an hour? I'll pay you double that to no, come to my house and make it, dinner for me and six friends. Okay, but like the, they're making a sub? Like, <laughs> Okay, this is not funny anymore. <laughs> no, that's great. No, it? it's not. Why isn't that There's funny? There's like probably lots of bad reasons why that's not fair to them. I want to pay them more. Okay, but like, are you going to give them like benefits and a guaranteed job every day whoa, of the whoa, week? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold <laughs> like, your horses now. <laughs> well, then don't take them from their employer. That I just want to, this is the gig them. economy, you know? Okay, Ben. I want to supplement their income. Okay, so if they're looking at it as like an extra side hustle yeah. per se, then maybe... You know, if they could me. even steal the sandwich. No, Ben. No. Meats from <laughs> no, they can't. Okay, give me the next fucking recipe. Or wait, is it my turn? Uh, it's your turn. We it's just my did turn. Oats. It's my turn. It's my turn. Okay. Don't listen to Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Don't steal food. All right. Uh, corn chips, uh, melted cheese. What? Black bean puree. Uh, a choice of either smoked brisket or you could substitute it for carne asada. Who? <laughs> Wait, what's that? Oh, you know, it's uh, it's from the region of Flavortown. Um, half a cup of uh, barbecue sauce, two cups cheddar cheese, uh, sour cream, pico de gallo, jalapenos, pickled red onion, and the most important, an empty one hundred and ten ounce tin can. Nachos. Yes, but what kind of nachos? weird fucking nachos. why do i need the can because it's a tower of nachos yes and where does it come from if it comes from flavor town whose recipe is this from flavor town christine's flavor town i'm not scared <laughs> who's from flavor town who's the king of flavor town i don't know he gave sophia and tyler a key to the city of flavor town one time on matt pat st jude's charity live stream what i don't He's remember got frosted tips he thinks he's in Guy a boy Fieri. band. Guy, Guy Fieri. Fieri from Flavor oh, okay. <laughs> I don't watch enough of him to... Sorry. I don't know that connection. So that's Guy Fieri's trash can nachos. Oh, trash can. That's why can. you need a big uh, mm. big tin. That's in, like trash can garbage bowls. Yeah. That's it's a in? trending type that's of trending? food. <laughs> Who made that trending, do you think? I don't know. You and Guy? I don't know. You're in cahoots? Me and a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you and just some guy? He's simply in some guy. <laughs> Well, Christine, I love nachos. Uh huh. And I think maybe the only thing I like more than nachos is today's sponsor, Shopify. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shopify offers an easy to use all in one commerce platform that lets people start, grow, and manage their own business. And it gives entrepreneurs the resources and analytics usually reserved for the big companies out there. Uh, at Holo Taco recently, we looked at our sales data for the past year to make some decisions about our catalog, what products we need more of, what things we might be missing. Uh, what products appeal to new customers versus existing customers. Uh, and we did all of that using Shopify's dashboard or the, the, the tools that Shopify offers on the back end to extract sales data and make sense of data to help inform the decisions you make as a business. So uh, if you're looking to start your own business, check out Shopify and use the link uh, shopify.com slash simply neological and you can start your business today. Again, that's shopify.com slash simply neological. Shout out to Shopify. Shout out to Shopify. Thank you, Toby. Okay. Is it him personally? <laughs> I've never spoken to Toby. Me neither. <laughs> That's funny. Shopify's in Ottawa. Yeah. People and forget this. We've talked to people at Shopify before through YouTube or just through like having a contact on this side. And whenever we're talking to them, it's always like... We could just come down to Elgin Street, say hello. Except like no one's in Ottawa. I like, guess they, they don't live, even work in the office anymore. They live in the, in the States anymore. or wherever they, whatever they want to live. <laughs> just like, can I come down the road? No. But didn't you got invited to some like influencer Shopify thing once? It was in didn't like you? in the it desert. It was probably in California. Maybe we're not supposed to say where it is. I don't know. I don't remember. But it's also like, uh, sorry, we can't make it or you can't make it. But like. But I'm, I'm in Ottawa. I can walk to Elgin <laughs> yeah. Street. <laughs> But the great thing about Shopify is that it can be international in the sense that you can use the tool and its platform to operate your business from wherever, right? Uh, yeah, That's sure. I think it. so. So it doesn't really matter <laughs> where <laughs> where people are physically located. Yeah, good point. Okay. Uh, you want to hit me with another recipe? Yes, I do. All right. 
all purpose flour, <laughs> yes. white sugar. For what purpose are you using the flour, though? All purposes in life. Okay, flour, sugar, <laughs> baking powder, baking powder, salt, salt, egg, egg, milk, butter, vegetable oil, milk, veg. Okay, oil, not butter. Bananas, mashed. Do they have to be brown bananas? Ripe. Almost black bananas? Could Rotten be. bananas? Ripe bananas. Rotten banana bread. Not green. Is it banana bread? No. Is it banana muffins? No. <laughs> it's flour, banana sugar, and oil. Yeah, and a milk. Bana- is it a banana cake? No. Milk, Is egg. it not a baked good with bananas? It's baking. Is it banana upside down cake? No. <laughs> are you really going to stump me on a banana baking <laughs> You one? already had a recipe that's like this. What do you mean I had a recipe? You gave me a recipe that was this. But this is a banana version. Banana nachos? No. <laughs> no, Ben. Bana- banana bolognese? No. <laughs> is this banana pancakes? Yeah. Oh. I can't believe you didn't get that when I got the pancakes pretty easily. You're better at this game than me. How? I don't know. It makes no sense. Maybe because I do all the baking. You're the one who's like, what are you baking? And I'm like, you'll see. And then you look at what I have and then you see what I... You play this game every night. It doesn't make any sense. (laughs) No, it doesn't. Wait, banana... No one has banana pancakes. Why not? I had them as a child. So you just mash the banana into the pancake batter? Yeah. That doesn't sound very good. Okay, well then don't make it. I, I won't. <laughs> banana hater. You love bananas. Don't forget it. Why? Uh, okay. We don't appreciate this banana I'm slender. Not, I'm not going to fight that. From Banana. Banana unana. You've been eating less bananas lately. <laughs> okay. I just want to point this out. Eat more then. Who, me? Yeah. Make maybe up I, for maybe it. Maybe I got to make some banana pancakes. Okay. You need chocolate chips and banana pancakes. I agree. Though, yeah, you? that recipe sucks. Well, Definitely. Well, pick, a, pick a good one. Okay. Well, I would have gotten it right. Okay, give me your next one, man. Okay, okay. I got an easy one for you, okay? Uh, two cups of whipping cream. Whipping cream. Uh, and half a teaspoon of sea salt, but that's optional. That's it? That's it. Meringue. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are eggs. <laughs> it's just cream. Maybe you want... Whipped cream. Sometimes you want it salted, sometimes unsalted. Whipped cream. You like salted whipped cream? Yeah. Like salted caramel latte? No. No? <laughs> you never want your whipped cream to be salty. Why not? Oh, that was a really good hint. You should have gotten it after that. What? Salted cream. <laughs> <laughs> you just repeated the guess? <laughs> what hint, Ben? <laughs> what hint? Okay. You-, you don't want to touch it. Butter. Butter. What? That's how you make butter. It's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. You just <laughs> you just whip cream a long time. It'll eventually turn into butter. What about unsalted butter? Then you don't add the salt. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the salt wait, is wait, optional. Wait, wait, wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, sir. Sir, excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> is butter whipped cream? But yeah. then why does it taste so like flat and different than whipped cream? <laughs> If you put whipped cream in a like a cake mixer, stand mixer, and just whipped it, it'll eventually. You know how don't you have to churn butter? Yeah, but churning is like well, this is in the fucking eighteen hundred. We're not in Colonial Williamsburg <laughs> or something. Yeah, we just buy butter in sticks. <laughs> yeah, That's well, it. That's how it's made. Sh- you buy it in a stick. Why are you so afraid of touching butter? Because it's just like a weird texture. I don't like it. I I don't touch chicken either until it's cooked. Well, yeah, but there's a, like. You're not going to touch a raw chicken and, like, lick your fingers and stuff. Do you touch raw butter and lick your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, so you know you buy whipped cream? <laughs> it's a liquid, right? Whipped cream or just cream? Whipping cream. Whipping cream. Those are different things. Whipped cream, I think of, like, the ch- can. Okay, so whipping cream is the dairy. Is the, is, it's like yeah. a thick it's the, milk. It's the thing in the carton. That High we... milk fat milk product. Okay, and then you, if you... Let's say you pour it into a bowl and you... Uh, Turn it. You have a, really be- a beater. It eventually In starts forming like peaks and turns into whipped cream. Yes. That you could put on pie or something. Yeah. You keep whipping it. Eventually, it gets more and more yellow. Solid. Why is it yellow? Why does it turn yellow? 
I don't believe you. <laughs> Something's missing here. Maybe it's the barrel. We're missing an ingredient that makes it's it the yellow. Barrel, it could it... be bananas. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> but if it's like churned in a barrel, maybe it's like taking the wood and making it yellow. Oh, you think the yellow of butter is just contamination <laughs> from making it an oak barrel know. or something? <laughs> Yo, don't listen to me. <laughs> I wonder if butter, like, is butter naturally yellow or did they just start adding some kind of dye? To make consumers identify it as distinctly butter. Distinct from what, though? I don't know. Just like the yellower it is, the better it is. Maybe it's all like propaganda. It's not like it doesn't really matter how yellow it is. I mean, there's pasteurized and non-pasteurized butter. Does that change the color at all? You're asking the wrong lady. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> Yo, no, I, I, don't I am think... not educated on butter. <laughs> What what are foods that are dyed to make people just think they're more appetizing? Well, like anytime you order something that's mint, they often put green food coloring just to make it be like, oh, it's you know very minty, but it's like fake. You don't mint is not green. Well, the leaf is, but usually when you're like baking with it, it doesn't actually need to be green to have to be using like a good mint leaf or whatever. But maybe with butter, is that the same thing? Where like the yellower it is, the more it tricks you into thinking it's good. Or am I just wrong? And it's like actually true that the more yellow it is, the more buttery. The more yellow you make it, the more it's going to start looking like cheese. And I think actually cheese is one thing where often cheese is orange. When it, I think a lot of cheese is just dyed orange. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe or ingredients are used to make yeah. it orange when it should be just whitish. Someone will know way too much about this and will comment it below. I'm not going to read but that. Th those people are not us. I do not. This is not where I spend my brain time or energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I give you another? Because it's sort of on theme. Okay. Okay. Uh, milk, vinegar, flour, cocoa powder, baking soda and baking powder. Cocoa powder with vinegar? Salt. Uh, unsalted, non-dyed butter. Why would you... Okay, just use salted butter if you have salt like this is like in every baking recipe okay, it's unsalted whatever. butter so you can control exactly how much got salt it, goes got in it. <laughs> two eggs vanilla extract your favorite i catch you drinking it sometimes from the mm -hmm. bottle yeah, it's true uh three uh white sugar and beetroot powder red velvet cake yeah how did you know because it's chocolate and, and vanilla beets and <laughs> that's okay to make it red. <laughs> so most people making red velvet cake today are just using like red food dye to make it. Yeah. But their traditional way of making it naturally was to use like a beet powder. Right. Uh, to give it that red look. Yeah. But, but this, is an, this is an example of like the kind of thing where like people associate mm -hmm. it so much with a color when really you could just make it without the beet powder or without red food coloring. It'll just look like a sort of... And then it's just chocolate cake. Kind of chocolatey looking cake. Yeah. Totally. Do you like red velvet cake? I think it's good. Um, it is weird how we associate it with like a deep red color though. Mm -hmm. Does it make you angry? No. Why would it make me angry? Because it's Isn't red. It, don't they say red like uh, evolutionarily like certain colors make you feel a certain way? Yeah, that's so for like, like a lot marketing of gyms though. have like a red in them. It's supposed well, to get your blood pumping. That's why a lot of fast foods are like red, yellow, and orange because those are supposed to make you hungry. That's why like McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, all of them. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you paint your nails red, yellow, or orange, do you, do <laughs> am you I mad? Want to eat them, or are you hungry? Or are you mad? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, you know. Yep. Yes, all of, all the, of above. the above. All the emotions. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I, what if you paint your nails like all the colors? What if you do Polish Mountain? Uh, then there's everything. probably something else wrong with you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Give me. Hit me. All right. Next one. Garbanzo beans. <laughs> Hummus. <laughs> Dark chocolate, <laughs> milk chocolate, chocolate, vanilla extract, and salt. Is it just chocolate-covered chickpeas? No. The ingredients are chickpeas, chocolate, and salt. And vanilla extract. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what is it? What does it create when you mix them together? So it's not chocolate hummus because you Yes, need... it is. What? No, you need more than just that. No. What do you need? Lemons? No, that's weird with chocolate. Do they not put tahini in chocolate hummus? No, we don't eat her. <laughs> we have we chocolate instead. Her. I hate... I don't recognize chocolate hummus as a real thing. You're denying its I'm, existence? I'm a, I'm a chocolate hummus denier. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 
Okay, I, I know you hate it. That's why I put it in here. Yeah, you're just trying to upset me. Okay, I'll know. give you another one. Please. Uh, fresh basil leaves mm, or basil, 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 basil. basil. Uh, freshly grated Romano or Parmesan cheese. Pesto. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I used to make pesto. I know. I've made you pesto. I know. You, I like pesto. You like pesto. Why didn't we make any pesto? Wait, should I read the rest in case someone wanted to know what's in pesto? Yeah, yeah. Give them a recipe. Olive oil. Do you have amounts there? Yes. Okay. Two cups fresh basil. Lots of basil. Half a cup freshly grated Parmesan, I suggest, rather yeah. than Romano. Yeah. Half a cup uh, er, olive oil. Mm -hmm. Third cup pine nuts. Mm, toasted, right? You probably want to toast them. I don't them. know. Three cloves garlic minced. Mm, quarter, quarter teaspoon salt or more. Mm. Eighth teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. Delicious. Pesto is <clears throat> great. Yeah, it is yummy. Especially like if you uh, if you ever go to like farmers markets or something, there's like a specific time of year where there'll just be like a stupid amount of basil at like some yeah that's in like in season or whatever. So just get like the real fresh stuff and just make a bunch make of it. pesto. Yeah, we should do that. You could sh you should do that. <laughs> you should help me. We should cook together. It's romantic. Is it? You can like touch butter. You can touch the butter. <laughs> Okay, I won't go on. You want me to go? <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, I've got one that I think you would like a lot. Okay. All right. Uh, two cans of pear halves. What? Pear, uh, like half of a pear? One. <laughs> Wait, why not just like a full pear? Just a can of like diced pears in syrup. But pear halves specifically? It's just canned diced pear. Diced Canned pears. Pe Canned pears. <laughs> That's so like it reminds me of my childhood. With yeah, those, like, yeah. This this fruit. recipe reminds me of a childhood. I I had a, I had an aunt who would make this. Oh God. Okay. Okay. So canned pears. Mm -hmm. uh, one package of lime flavored Jello. One package of cream cheese. Oh. Two tablespoons stop. of milk. <laughs> Please stop. And Please one stop. container of frozen whipped topping. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Like the frozen the shitty pre-made whipped whipped cream cool whip like, type oh, stuff. Oh, cool whip. Cool whip, but yeah. frozen. Well, thawed. Okay. You buy it frozen. But uh, it's thawed. I don't know, like some kind of Jello. Yeah, Jello. What though? Jello fruit Jello. So for some reason, people call this like Jello salad or jello sea salad. foam salad. Oh, I've never heard. I of don't that. think you really see this anymore. But as a child, I would you'd sometimes see this in the wild. Did it have like the layers? So it would, like you'd of? put it in like a bunt cake pan. Ew. So you'd have like this jiggle. dome of jiggly jello, but it's like jello cream cheese and like some fruit in it. <laughs> Ew, whoever Truly liked that. Truly horrendous. <laughs> Did you eat it? Like how often? Oh yeah. Well, like once a year maybe. For what? Christmas? I think around Christmas time. I had Ew. a family member that would make it, yeah. That's so bad. I don't remember it having pears in it. I think it had some other type of fruit. It was like whatever was in those shitty fruit cups. They were like peaches, pears, and maraschino cherries. <laughs> <laughs> maraschino cherries. Yeah. I haven't had jello in a long time. Good. I used to have jello all the time, but like jello in the pre made cups, like chocolate jello. No, Cho sorry. That's pudding. Not jello, I mean pudding, but it was like uh, by the makers of jello or something, you know? So I just called pudding, it pudding by we, jello. We just called it jello, even though like it definitely wasn't. But it was the more creamy one, and they'd have like coffee versions, butterscotch versions, French vanilla versions. You had coffee pudding as a child? Well, Wait, how old I just were you? know it existed. Was this like last week? No. <laughs> What is your I best... I drank coffee when I was 15. Of all like the sort of childhood terrible snack foods that like we wouldn't eat Gushers. today. Gushers. Gushers was a good one. Uh, Soda pop or well, fuck, what are they called? So, so delicious. So delicious. The little bottles. Oh, you're just talking candy though. I'm yeah, talking yeah, more yeah. like your parents would kind of send it to school with you as like... I guess it's not that different. From, like Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos. Yeah, yeah. Dunkaroos was a big one, which is basically like these little... Little kind of cookies fruit, fruit by the foot. that you would dunk in like frosting. Fruit by the foot, <laughs> fruit roll up, gushers, top three. Yeah, good choices. Yeah, there are also like weird cheesy things, like little crackers, cheese and cheese. or not cheese sticks, cheese strings. Cheese, cheese strings, strings, top tier. Mozzarella cheese. I would strings. eat cheese strings today. Yeah, why were they so good? How old do you like your cheddar? Uh, old. 
If I'm at the grocery store, I'm like, I feel like some cheddar. Well, it depends. Do you it, want like is one it, year, Is it white two, cheddar or orange the cheddar? Non-dyed cheddar. White. Uh, I think like two to five years is fine. That's a big range. Oh, it is? Well, I think there's a big difference between a two year and a five year. Okay. Man, five years sort of like about. flaking apart. In okay. Age. Not that old. A little younger cheddar. One of the... <laughs> Maybe three year, a little sweet spot. Sure, there. yeah, yeah. Little three year cheddar. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna melt cheese and green olives onto a sesame Montreal style bagel after over this a loaf of Jello. Yeah, with cream cheese. And then I'm gonna encase it in a dome of Jello with dessert hummus in the middle. No. Okay. Definitely not that. Okay, was it your turn or my turn? Uh, I have two left, so you tell me. I have, I have like four. Okay. But we don't have to do that. You could do a couple. Okay. All right, this one's very simple. Malt extract, yeast. I don't even yeast, know what that is. Uh, bread? And sugar. It's not bread. Sorry, malt extract. Yeast. Yeast. And sugar. Just like a starter for bread? No, no bread. <laughs> <laughs> what else makes yeast that isn't bread? What else turns can be used with yeast what else can be made out of yeast sorry wow <laughs> is this some like alcohol is it beer yeah okay <laughs> okay all the beer recipes like were way too dead of a giveaway it was like this types of hops from blah, blah, blah. so no hops well i mean that's optional if you want it to be hoppy but like the 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 core basics of beer according to a very brief research was basically like malt yeast and sugar Plus all like whatever random specific. Yeah, I've never, I know people who kind of got like hipster into making their own beer. And mm -hmm. it's like, what do you, <laughs> this guy who would like make it in a bathtub, <laughs> make beer in this tub. <laughs> Did he like, was it only for him to drink? Yeah. I don't think he actually bathed in the tub too. <laughs> oh my God. That's so Canadian sounding. I'm, I'm, I, yeah. I'm, I have no desire to make my own beer. Uh, you can't because our bathtub has mail in it. Okay. <laughs> so. That's true, yeah. Okay, I'll give you another one. Yeah, yeah. Cornstarch, uh -huh. water, unsalted butter. Okay. Unbleached all-purpose flour. <laughs> That's okay, whatever. Flour, beef broth, chicken broth. Okay. Pepper, potatoes. Oil and whatever kind of cheese you like. <laughs> cheese curds, maybe. It's like some sort of tortier. Who? <laughs> Tortue? So potatoes. Oh, yeah. is this poutine? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's poutine. <laughs> yeah, I should have gone. It's, it's poutine, you Canadian. Not that we've ever made it ourselves, but. Uh... We did once. Oh, yeah, for a video. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> but like. We have a fry cutter. A deep fryer. Or no. A fry cutter. What do we have? Don't we have a deep fryer? We have fryer? both of those things that we've yeah. never used since that video. Yeah. So we, we should. have the thing where you like you put a potato in it and you like slice it, put a lever down, and it shoots it through this grate to make French cut uh, cut fries. Yeah. Okay, you should go. <laughs> okay, you want me to go? Yeah. Okay, I've given you. Uh, maybe I've been. You're either really good at this, or I've picked ones that are too easy. Okay. I don't think you're getting this. One. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, flat rice noodles. Oil, garlic, extra firm tofu, two eggs, bean sprouts, green onion, bell pepper, uh, peanuts, uh, lime, cilantro is optional. <laughs> and then for the sauce, we need fish sauce, low, uh, soy sauce, brown sugar, rice vinegar, and sriracha. Spring rolls? There's nothing's being rolled up, but you're kind of on the right track. Teriyaki? <laughs> teriyaki. Wait, what chicken. teriyaki? Uh, lo mein? Or like one of those dishes? You're getting closer. What Chow kind of mein? foods do I like? <laughs> Thai food. I do like Thai food. What is the most normy white person Thai food dish? I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> What is like the one Thai food dish that you might know by name? Nothing? <laughs> I don't eat. Nothing. No, like noodles? <laughs> yeah, what kind of noodles? <laughs> Flat 
noodles. Thai is in the name of the dish. No. <laughs> Something Thai. Pad Thai. Pad Thai. Pad Thai. Okay, pad thai. shit. Yeah, sorry. That was obvious. Tof- tofu Pad Thai in this case. Okay. I was on track with spring rolls. It could have been a spring roll if you just added like the... If you just wrap it all wrap it into together. a roll. Because you said bean sprouts. So I was like, spring rolls. Yeah. If anything, the peanuts probably should have given it away. Mm, yeah. 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 You just you don't you don't know Thai I, food, eh? I no, I I don't. I'm very boring, and I put everything in a bowl and Tell call it a garbage it. bowl. Yeah, or or oats, like you know, <laughs> that's it. So, what would you be more willing? It's been a long time since you tried Thai food. I'm gonna put Thai food and Indian food as the two examples here mm-hmm. of foods you think you really don't like. Mm-hmm. Is that fair? I, I mean, like, I don't hate them, but it's just, if I, if it's up to me what I would l- prefer to eat, mm-hmm. I would probably not choose that. Yes. It's okay to not like things. That's fine. I don't want people getting mad because they like it. Well, fuck them. <laughs> I don't like every kind of food either. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I, I think people's palates change over time. Sure. Uh, like, when I first met you, you couldn't eat anything spicy at all. I think that's you still don't like a lot of spice but i think your tolerance for spice has changed i'm slowly chipping away at you you know what i've been doing what every morning in your oats no put a little tobacco i put just a little bit of tobacco you're lying trying to build up your tolerance careful i make your oats yeah what are you putting in there nail polish (laughs) just a little bit of hollow so just saying what what do you think you'd be more willing to try if we're just gonna go out a little date night saturday night going out for dinner Indian food, Thai food. What could I convince you? I don't you? know. It would depend on what's in the dish. Like you'd have to tell me what's in it, the recipe, <laughs> the <laughs> okay, ingredients. I'll give you the list of ingredients. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Then. Okay. Um, okay, butter, a cup of butter, a lot of butter. Mm, I'll touch it. Sugar, eggs, cold mashed potatoes. <laughs> Vanilla extract. What? All purpose flour. Baking cocoa. Baking soda. 2% milk. And chopped walnuts or pecans. You want me to review? Are you sure you meant potatoes? Yes, I did. Because I thought we were on like some shepherd's pie type situation. (laughs) And then it took a turn, right? Took a fucking turn. But the chocolate and pecans yeah throwing me off and and flour is this a potato pecan pie it's potato cake potato cake potato cake oh that's a thing it is a thing i don't why i mean like i might have had it as at a restaurant where they made like a tiny little potato so you're cake. willing to have potato cake but not indian food i, I mean it's not like i'm <laughs> not unwilling I, I just i don't know i've I might have had this at some that point when I potato when cake. someone served it to me at dinner and I was just like, okay, you know. Was it good? I don't remember. But like it was probably fine. It just kind of tasted like nothing. Yeah. That's a very like, kind of boring potatoes. This is kind of the, the kind of recipe yeah, that would be Yeah, but I'm the, boring. Yeah. So it makes sense that like but maybe like, I've eaten th- it. This is the kind of recipe that like with all due respect was probably the, the product of people not really having ingredients and available to mm. them if you're yeah. from somewhere where your culture like half of your diet was potatoes i don't blame you for like getting a little creative and Making incorporating potato, potato cake <laughs> potato maybe cake. you just have an abundance of potatoes but we're right? we're, yeah. we're not it's resourceful we're not sitting here christine with like oh my god we need to last through the winter on potatoes <laughs> well I, I never said i wanted this <laughs> like i don't really care okay <laughs> it's just a recipe that was fun ben all right i've got one more Okay, and then I have my last one. Okay. Uh, strong brewed coffee. Oh. Kahlua. Oh. Egg yolks. Oh. Sugar. Espresso powder. Vanilla extract. Salt. Uh, mascarpone cheese. Heavy cream. Mascarpone, you mean? Mascarpone. Or whatever. Mascarpone. mascarpone. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay. Uh, lady fingers. And Excuse me. Cocoa powder. Uh, the lady fingers are just like in between the recipe, suck on a lady's fingers. Right, yes. Uh, it's like a fancy uh, cappuccino. No. A uh, fancy latte. So uh, it's, a dessert. it's a dessert. It's a dessert. 
This is a Claire Saffitz recipe, by the an way. An eclair. An eclair. A Claire. A Claire Saffitz. Wait, wait. <laughs> Uh, wait, what, what, what else was the ingredients? Sorry, so repeat it. So the mascarpone cheese and the coffee flavor and the lady fingers is the, should be the giveaway. S cookie. Excuse me? <laughs> Remember those S cookies when we were kids? No. By, by Milano? No? No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it's not a coffee eclair or something? It's a fun name to say. It's like a fun name. It starts with a T. It's a kind of cake. Tiramisu. Tiramisu S E. What? <laughs> Tir- Actually, a she, coffee tiramisu. She calls this tiramisu e icebox cake because it's kind of like tiramisu, but she's like it's tiramisu e. Like e y. Like yeah, just like y. Like y. <laughs> or it's tiramisu S E cake. Okay. Yeah. Do you like tiramisu? It's fine, but I probably wouldn't order it if I'm like picking off a dessert menu. I'd I would probably, order. I would order. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Last one. Delicioso. Okay. How do you say mascarpone? Mascarpone. 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 I je sais pas. Okay. It's one of those words like you. There are a lot of words I go through life just reading and never like saying out loud. Isn't it funny where you're kind of confronted with that? Yeah, and you're like, shit, I have to say this out loud, and I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Yeah. That happens to me all the time. Hey, I never talk to people. I only see a word on a page. Oh, how do I say button? <laughs> a kitten. <laughs> a button. Okay, last a one, crown. Ben. You better get this. Okay. All-purpose flour. Uh-huh. Granulated sugar. Flour, sugar. Baking powder. Baking powder. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Salt. Unsalted butter. Mm-hmm. Heavy cream. Mm-hmm. Egg. Mm-hmm. All very generic so far. Vanilla extract uh-huh. and blueberries. <clears throat> cinnamon? You called for cinnamon in there. I thought you were going to blueberry scones, but there's no cinnamon in blueberry scones. Unless you <clears throat> found a bad recipe. This is the recipe we use to make blueberry scones. There was cinnamon in that recipe? Yeah, apparently. No. Yes, I clicked on the one we gave <laughs> that we linked to. Ben, we made this dish. You do okay. not recall. That's the best dish we've ever made. Yeah. Best baking of all time. I, I disagree because I, I hate blueberries. But uh, <laughs> but even you thought it was good. I thought their gingerbread cookies were like really good. Top tier. That was all you. You did great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't guess what or other, you kind of guessed we should it's been a while we, okay so we've made blueberry scones yeah raspberry white chocolate mm-hmm. what kind of scones could we make next mm, we should probably make is there like a chocolate chip scone or is that weird i think like at that point a just scone. make a chocolate chip can cookie. we make a maple scone canada I've style never heard of that being a thing. i'm sure it exists usually you want something kind of like a like cranberries or blueberries were very no, I don't scone want appropriate. I do not want fruit. I'm not a fan. I would prefer maple. You don't want fruit? No. Maybe like a toasted brown sugar maple syrup scone. Like a breakfast scone. Does that make sense? <laughs> breakfast in Canada scone. scone. <laughs> Scones are always for breakfast. Are they? I, I don't know. I've seen those like cheese scones. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of that. No. Has to be like maple syrup. Just do blueberry scones again. No. Of all the recipes we've talked about today, oat milk. <laughs> For me, I think I want to try Meghan Markle's filthy, sexy zucchini. That sounds good. Pasta dish. Yeah. Okay, I would eat. You would eat. I would eat. Yes. <laughs> would eat. Would eat. I would eat. Yeah. We could listen to Harry's audiobook at the same time. Is there an audiobook? Does yeah. he narrate it? Yeah. Oh my God, that's You can wonderful. listen to him talk about his penis. Okay, stop. <laughs> I didn't know if he would narrate it because it'd probably take fucking forever to record. If you wrote a book, would you narrate it? I think I would have to. It would be weird if I sold a book and like it was narrated by me, given the fact that I've done years of voiceovers. It would yeah. be weird if someone else was like the audio book. <laughs> Remember when YouTubers just started writing books? Yeah, that was a phase. That was a time. That was eh? a time, yeah. I think book publishers realized like one of the only ways of guaranteed selling a book was to just find these young celebrities with 
big online audiences. I mean, every industry has done this. Every industry has, has hopped on the influencer train. But so. book, book publishing definitely had its moment of just like, oh, here's a bunch of cash grabs from working with. Because I remember talking to someone who did it. Like they, they were throwing money around at one point. I don't think that's yeah. a thing anymore. I think we're talking about like five years ago maybe. But yeah. Yeah. And then for a while, like the New York Times bestseller list was just like was just the influencer full book. of YouTubers who like could barely read. And that's why I, I remember a time where like the YouTubers would write New York Times bestseller in their bio because <laughs> it was like, okay, like it's true. It's true technically, but like and if that, that title used to be something that people would associate with like a, a writer being incredible and people wanting to purchase yeah, it. Yeah, and if you're Anyways. some aspiring novelist or something, you're, you're just, just like, losing what? your fucking mind. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will not write a book. How about that? Thank you. You're I'm welcome. sure the authors out there appreciate You guys are that. welcome. Okay. Shout out to all the writers. I will not do that. Dude. I'm just kidding. I will not Why take would that I, spot I, I would on be the on list. like the Canada bestsellers. Let's be honest. <laughs> That's it. Do they even have that list? I don't know. I don't think it exists. I'll be on the number one Ontario bestsellers sellers list. <laughs> sellers. sellers. <laughs> You can't read your audiobook. <laughs> yes, I can't read. How am I going to narrate my book? All right. Good Lord. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you again to Shopify for sponsoring this episode. Thanks, Toby. And um, speaking of our operating platform on which we put Holotaco products, uh, Holotaco is launching something soon. So we were preparing all the listings and whatever. Mm -hmm. Very excited for gonna, something I'm going to have five cups of coffee to celebrate. Five with, freshly with brewed different, cups. Different amounts of espresso, oat milk, oat milk. cappuccino. Okay, stop talking, stop <laughs> talking. <laughs> ben, okay, well, we hear you. We hear you. You, you hear have me. five cups of coffee ready, mm -hmm. you know? We're, it's going to be freshly brewed hollow. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is your favorite, right? What's my favorite? It's about, it's about coffee. So you must like it. You I love coffee. I like coffee. Okay, so you're going to like... This, I, this I like launch. everything you do. Aww. I like I like what I'm doing. Oh, thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for tuning in. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful Taco Tuesday, and we'll see y'all later. Bye.